way to make planks more effective and less boring, then I would definitely try these. Um, it's a super advanced exercise, so if you can't get it on the first time, you can definitely regress down to like some shoulder taps or plank reaches to kind of build up your strength. Uh, but for my advanced people, we're gonna start with a wide stance. Um, make sure that your feet are at least hip width apart. If you have your feet close together on this one, it's gonna make it very, very difficult. You can always work your way and progress by bringing those feet in, but start with a wide stance. Now, the placement of the foam roller is super important. You don't want it on your hands like this, but you also don't want it super close to your elbows, because if it's close to your elbows, you've got nowhere to go. You want it kind of like right in the middle, or actually more towards the wrist on the forearm, and that's gonna give you some leverage on where to push the roller. So once you're set up on these, we'll go wide feet, but super tight shoulder blades back. Everything needs to be squeezed on this one. So nothing is loose. Your quads are squeezed, your butt is squeezed, hamstrings are on fire, shoulder blades are back. Everything's gotta be super, super tight. It's super important that you're pushing back on your heels too, so watch my feet. If I go to roll forward and my feet go like this and my hips drop, again, not good. Push back on your heels the entire time, anchor yourself into the ground, and then we're just looking for small ranges of motion with that roller. So we're just moving it in and out, abs tight, butt squeezed, quads tight, pushing back on the heels, so you can see Nothing is moving besides my arms and the roller. There's no movement in the feet, there's no movement in the hips. Just moving that roller, slow and controlled, in and out, 10 to 12 reps of that is all you're gonna need to feel it.